I'm sitting here after the protest, uh, the Oprah protest in Hamilton here at Cops Coliseum with the uh, activists, and uh, sitting with me I have... Franny. Glenn. Catherine. Jeremy. Matt. And uh, I'm just going to ask them uh, to tell me all about their, 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 their situation and the information that they know about. So who would like to speak up first? Round table. Well, I can speak. Um, what I find very distressing is that uh, Oprah is a media mogul. Um, she's uh, an idol for many people, and she's an advocate against female genital mutilation, yet she uses Skin Medica face cream, which is uh, made with fibroblasts that are harvested from uh, baby foreskins. Now, uh, the reps from Skin Medica would have you believe that this fantastic ingredient of uh, fibroblasts all hails from one original foreskin that was harvested over 20 years ago. And um, I call baloney on that because, um, you know, eukaryotic cells, especially complex cells like mammalian cells, have a finite number of repetitions that uh, they can replicate in vitro. So uh, I don't believe that the original harvesting was from 20 years ago. Especially back then, they didn't have the technology to keep um, eukaryotic cell replication, mammalian cell replication going on for 20 years. So I think that it's uh, wrong for her to be endorsing such a foreskin uh, face cream. I think that it's a double standard because baby boys deserve the same protection as our baby girls from genital cutting. Everybody has the right to genital integrity, bodily integrity. Nobody should be cut up at birth or shortly thereafter. And if a baby boy wants to get circumcised, then he can get circumcised after he turns 18, when he's able to give his consent. All of these babies from which the foreskin cells were taken from were strapped down against their will and had the most sensitive, best part of their penis cut off, losing over 20,000 nerve endings. And just to give you a comparison, a woman's clitoris has 8,000 nerve endings, and 20,000 nerve endings represent about three quarters of all of the nerves in a man's penis. So when you circumcise a baby, you actually end up removing a lot of the sexual pleasure that he's going to be able to enjoy in the future. And uh, circumcision is not uh, uh, a painless operation. It's not a banal operation. It actually um, changes the boy forever, and his ability to enjoy sex as nature intended it is also affected. When the oldest one was eight, and he saw part of a circumcision video, he said, why are they doing that? It's not their penis. The other one was six at the time, and when he saw the circumcision video, he said, why are they cutting it? It's already so small, because indeed, even the child is smart enough to realize if you cut something, you're making it smaller, not bigger. So, do you think that your son's actually going to thank you for cutting his penis to make it smaller? Why would you want to go and cut it to make it smaller? It makes no sense. And the four-year-old at the time, I'm smart enough to go and pipe up and say, but mommy, where are the parents? Because in his brain, he just could not wrap his head around the fact, he couldn't understand that it was, and I didn't tell him then because it would have been too traumatic, but, you know, that parents would actually choose to subject their newborn to this excruciatingly painful surgery. It's, uh, it's pretty second hand. Yeah.